right, so along with announcing the Pixel 6a, Google actually unveiled a new magic eraser trick, and I want to show you how camouflage works on the Pixel 6a. So Google did announce this will be coming to the Pixel 6 series as well, but for now, let's check this out. Let me go ahead and turn this brightness up for you guys to see. Alright, so here's a picture I took, not even on the Pixel 6a the other day. And if you go into edit, like you would traditionally for the Magic Eraser tool, you will actually see, under the tools, under Magic Eraser, a new option for not just erase, but camouflage as well. So we'll go ahead and use the uh, typical erase function. You can see it's trying to take away the people at the bottom. It should do okay, but yeah, it's a heavy heavily populated area so it didn't get everything. Let's go ahead and just do that again. And one more time around there. Okay, so it did an okay job here. Now for instance, if you click this new camouflage button, button, you can circle or brush what you need to camouflage. So say these green palm trees in the way of the Epcot ball, if you actually circle them, you can see that it dulled the image to try to not take away from the big Epcot ball. Let me show you another example here that I also like. So, say for instance, you are, let's use this. Say for instance, you have a nice colorful image right here and everything else around it is green, but these purple flowers are in the way as well. If you go into that edit tool again, Tools, Magic Eraser, and then Camouflage. You can see it's trying to find what to camouflage in the back because of the brighter colors. You can say Camouflage. I don't think it does too much in this regard. But if you cover all of that, you can see it now faded into the green and no longer impacts that brighter quality image. Pretty neat. I think it's a useful tool depending on the circumstance and situation. The photos that Google used an example of were I think a kid sitting on a, a at the beach with a bright colored cooler behind it that they made it blend in with the sand for more of a beige or muted tone. Um, it works pretty good. As you would assume, it does work for other photos taken outside of a Pixel 6a. You just have to edit them all in your actual editing app. So I found this to work hit and miss. Um, for instance, if you go ahead and let's pull up this picture of the Nothing Phone 1 and go back into the tools, Magic Eraser. So if you want to cover some stuff out, it worked okay that time. It's been hit and miss on certain ones I've been doing, but keep in mind, it's not going to be perfect, uh, but it does work pretty good for what you have. I like how Google implemented it. I don't think it's been anything crazy at all. Let's try this out really quick. I have a feeling here it'll try to blend this teal box into the green grass. Let's see. Yeah, so there we go. It turned it orangish yellow. Uh, pretty neat. Again, a little bit of a party trick. I don't know how useful it'll be necessarily, but it's there. Google made it available as a new little trick. I still think the Magic Eraser is the much better option that gives you a lot more flexibility that a lot of people will use, but let me know in the comments below. Do you like this new addition? Have you seen any use cases you think that weren't using it? Let us know. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.